Hello everyone, I am Yi Kai Tio. Today, I will be presenting our paper that has been accepted in IEEE Internet of Things journals. The title is IoT and Fault Computing Based Predictive Maintenance Model for Effective Asset Management in Industry 4.0 Using Machine Learning. I conducted this research along with my master supervisor, Dr. Subal Singh Gyo from Queen Mary University of London and Dr. Ajit Kumar Palika from University of Cambridge. The first agenda for today's presentation is background introduction, then motivation and contribution of this work, following with critical analysis of existing solutions, then problem statement, performance evaluation, demonstration, and results of the proposed technique. Then we will see the contribution of these works to real life, conclusion, future work, and lastly publication details. The exponential growth of new generation computing such as cloud edge computing, Internet of Things, Big Data, Cyber Physical System, CPS, contribute a lot in the manufacturing industry to accomplish a more proficient competing and smart manufacturing. Industry 4.0 represents a condition of manufacturing, where the ongoing transmission and analysis of data from the shop floor produce manufacturing knowledge, which has a positive effect over all parts of the activities. The assets in Industry 4.0 are categorized into physical, virtual, and human, as shown in Figure 1. Assets refer to all resources with economic values owned by the business. Physical assets are the real objects, including primary assets that is the key equipment for manufacturing process and supporting asset to keep manufacturing going. Virtual assets include computational, data, technical, and knowledge. Human assets include HR, vendors, and customer. These assets generate up to exabytes data volume per year through industrial sensor. Therefore, this requires an effective resource management technique. With the huge amount of industrial data, how can we utilize them in Industry 4.0? One of the applications is to predict the health condition of manufacturing equipment. What motivates this research study? Real-time collection and analysis of industrial data promote manufacturing productivity and information visibility motivates this study. The contribution of this work includes proposed genetic algorithm, GA, for asset management, compare GA with different resource management technique, namely min min, max min, first come first serve, round robin. Optimize decision support system with equipment predictive maintenance model. A case study showing the proposed technique. And lastly, proposed future direction for this work. This chapter discusses the main four existing solutions from our work. Number one, service placement policy, namely MIN RE, introduced with the aim to supply high quality of service for. IoT devices and to lower energy consumption in fault computing. The policy was evaluated through simulation experiment and the results evidence that mean RE outperformed clock only H, H1 and resource aware. Second solution is load balancing mechanism depending on GNA architecture and contract net protocol. This solution managed to reduce the energy consumption by 21% but the author did not consider other performance metrics. The third solution is containerization in fault computing. This solution managed to reduce the execution time by 10% compared with virtual machine. Similarly, the authors did not consider other performance metrics. The fourth so solution is using lightweight architecture system with clock and edge, namely Serena, to implement predictive analysis platform. 
Serena collected the sensor's data in Edge Gateway and processed the information in the hybrid cloud. Serena managed the deployment in Docker service and utilized the load balancing from Docker to distribute the tasks. Table 1 compares the existing solutions and my proposed technique. We have considered the following factors in the world. Physical asset, virtual asset, human asset, predictive maintenance, fault computing, execution time, energy and cost. The problem statement of this study is how to manage the assets in Industry 4.0 effectively using genetic algorithm and utilize the industrial big data to minimize manufacturing equipment failure through supervised machine learning. To answer the problem statement, we will discuss the proposed technique in this chapter. Figure 2 shows the system architecture of the work. The system architecture consists of five layers. Asset layer contains all the assets within the business such as manufacturing equipment, products, inventories, logistic vehicle, infrastructure. Perception layer contains sensors to collect the data. The device to connect data includes sensor, meter, RFID, barcode. Network layer in charge of real-time data transmission. They communicate to each other through 4G, 5G, satellite, wireless, intranet connection. Fog computing layers creates communication between edge devices and the cloud data center. Fog computing allows the data to send to the server to process locally such as application server, router. Cloud computing layer allows resources management and task processing. Pre-processing, training, testing, prediction and model deployment of industrial big data are performed at this level. Cloud allows resource management and scheduling according to the business policy. GA is proposed for resource management technique. GA mimics Darwin theory of evaluation, where the fittest survive in the nature. The three main operators in GAs are selection, crossover, and mutations as shown in figure 3. Selection enable GA to choose from parents chromosome. Crossover to confirm the exchange of parents mutation gene. Mutation ensure changes in their gene. Of all the available resource management techniques, why we choose GA? This is because GA is favorable in band selection, smaller size classification, higher training and testing accuracy in contrast to ABC and PSO. Then, GA initializes the search from population points instead of single point. Such direct method for global search ensure GA does not trap in local optima. The data set of this work contain 10 attributes through real-time data transmission. The main results are the equipment condition represented by a binary number, where 0 indicates healthy and 1 indicates failure. The end devices are the four main sensors, namely voltage, rotational, pressure, and vibrational sensor. In Ford Workflow Sim, the simulation considers four end devices, five Ford nodes, which are Cloudlet, Micro Cloud, Smart Switch, Application Server, Smart Router, and one Cloud Server in the case study. Table 3, 4, 5 shows the parameter settings in Ford Workflow Sim. The GA is set to 50 population size with 100 iteration runs. The crossover rate is 85% and 1% mutation. Montage with 60 jobs are set as the workflow settings. Population size represents the number of job requests from IIoT sensors and devices. They are represented by the number of chromosomes in one generation. Number of iterations is the number of generations in GA. 
cross trait is the probability of accepting a new chromosome. Mutation rate is the random probability where the elements inside the offspring genes are flipped or changed. These changes are caused by error while copying parents' gene. Equipment predictive maintenance run in two-class logistic regression in machine learning. Figure 4 details the process in Microsoft Excel Machine Learning Studio. The real-time data from sensors transmit to gateway for data preparation, then predictive analysis in CDC Cloud Data Center. The dataset is split to 70% for training and 30% for testing. The model can be deployed through RESTful API. Table 6 shows the parameters for two-class logistic regression after tuning according to the best result we obtain. Over here, we will demonstrate the case study on a computer. At first, I click the main UI, Java, to run it. Then go to environment settings to set according to our case study, five nodes, four end devices. Over here, I can do a further environment settings. Then I choose algorithm setting, GA, and input all the values that we discussed previously. And then I choose fault offloading strategy and select the parameters that I want to compare with. And then over here, I set montage with 60 jobs. I can select, select, compare, and it will show the results later. And then I can export the results. If we select the link in previous slide, we can go into the workbook. Click Open Studio and then we can log in to Microsoft Azure Machine Learning. And then just click run to run the machine learning. Let's wait for a while for the machine learning to run. Okay, it shows finish running. And then right click evaluate training model, we can visualize it. This is evaluate the testing model. And then this one we can evaluate ROC of training and testing model. This chapter discusses the results obtained from Ford Workflow Sim and Predictive Maintenance Model. Figure 5, 6, 7 shows the execution time, cost, and energy respectively. 
The results from workflow slim shows the execution time, cost, and energy of GA are the lowest among min, min max min, first come, first serve, and round robin. The reasons are as follow. Number one, GA can discover the solution more effect efficiently through the acceleration in each generation through crossover. Furthermore, the execution time of GA is lower than heuristic algorithms such as round robin, despite the complexity of GA is due to job schedule in cloud sim. When the user send a high number of job requests to the cloudlet simultaneously, cloud sim is not able to execute them and job schedule places the request in a queue system. Job schedule positions and execute the job request from the lowest execution time to the highest and send back to the user. This leads to lower execution time of the GA method. GA optimizes the distribution of tasks and has a better fitness value. Thus, this further reduces the executing costs. Montage workflow allows labor-based clustering, where the same tasks in the workflow can cluster together. Cluster workload minimizes the network traffic and further reduce the energy usage. Table 7 and Table 8 shows the confusion metrics of training and testing respectively, while Figure 8 shows the ROC of training and testing. For equipment predictive maintenance, the model obtained 95.1% of training accuracy and 94.5% of testing accuracy. Setting the threshold at a constant value of 0.5 in both training and testing dataset, the area under Croft AUC of ROC is 0.990 and 0.987 respectively. This chapter discusses the contribution of this work towards industrial and academic. This work has successfully identified necessary attributes for data analytics. This work deployed equipment predictive maintenance model. Lastly, this work simulated GA for resource scheduling and obtained optimal result in Fort Workflow SIM. In summary, this work categorized the asset in Industry 4.0 into physical, virtual, and human. Then this work proposed GA for effective asset management. The result from simulation evidence that GA outperformed other scheduling policies such as min, -min max min, first come, first serve, round robin in terms of execution time, cost, and energy. Lastly, a model for equipment predictive maintenance model is built and deployed. The model has 94.1% of training accuracy and 94.5% of testing accuracy. Although the proposed research management technique demonstrates efficiency, this work can be further enhanced with the following viewpoints. Number one, a reliable and secure communication to prevent cyber attack. Number two, further extending to different domains of Industry 4.0 such as oil and gas, construction and chemical. Number three, the performance metrics of the simulation can further include network latency, network bandwidth, jitter. These are the reference lists mentioned in Chapter 3 and 4, which is critical analysis of existing techniques. This is a citation of our work in IEEE Internet of Things Journal. Thank you very much for your time, everyone.